Welcome. Today we're going to literally muddle our way through craft external storage. Um, and some people are watching live and pointed out that I was talking about stuff and not sharing anything for a bit because it was, yeah, anyway. But we're going to do better now. Um, and I'm just going to look into it. I haven't really looked into it before, so we're going to literally just try it out, see how it works um, for us. And I'll open up. I have my iPad off to the side, which I unfortunately can't share in the video at this moment. Um, but we will just see how it works between the two, adding it. Uh, into two different spots. Before we get going, a couple ways to support the channel is number one, to go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron. Number two is to go to curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, take one of my courses. Uh, and if you're interested in my Zettelkasten course where I actually demonstrate some stuff on craft, you can go to uh, curtismchale.ca slash skillzet, And that will take you directly to my Skillshare course on it. That's it, let's buckle up. Let's look at external storage locations in craft. All right, so let's show this off. This is actually pretty simple. I was looking through the documentation and I really couldn't find exactly where it was. But if I just go into, I guess, I don't know what you call that, your icon up there. So yes, you can all see my email. I'm sure someone's gonna be like, we could see your email, but it's everywhere online. I don't, you can send me an email. I'm terrible at checking it. So I'm never, probably never gonna see it. The best way if you wanna ask me questions about craft is to join the live stream on Fridays. It'll start between one and 2 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, and actually record some videos and then I take some questions. So at external location, where do I want to put this? Let's drop it into iCloud. Uh, let's create a craft folder just so I have it. Create. Open. Well, that's pretty easy. So now, oh, we've got iCloud troubleshooting. That's nice that it opens it up. Getting started with external locations. So the benefit of external location right now is that I have this for myself on my hosting, on my iCloud account, and craft servers don't get to see it. That's really the big benefit, and that's one of the, the, the drawbacks that a lot of people have said with craft is that they can um, see your, in theory, they can see your data because it's not end-to-end -end encrypted. But now with it's on um, iCloud, I have full control over it, who gets to see it, how I share the folders, what I do with it and everything. So using iCloud Drive, uh, what does it say here for iCloud Drive? Local storage, so maximum privacy, full control of your data. I have to manually re-add if you log out from your account. That's fine, I mean, that makes sense, doesn't it? iCloud troubleshooting trigger sync by opening Finder and the Files app. So it looks like they say there's some issues and you can't exceed your storage limit. It's actually interesting to see um, about the storage limit. Like I have two terabytes. How much is my craft storage right now? Does it say? Yes, you can still see my email. I know. About, no, diagnostics. I don't have a lot of images in here and everything, but I have blocks used 76. I wonder if that's just for my, um, that probably just for this space. Um, so in the chat, Preben asked, any experience with multiple spaces? You can see I've got a few. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go into either of these because I might reveal someone else's email, but yeah, for the suite setup I write, and so I've got their space there, and I started one for work, but I didn't really use it. Um, but you can link between them, you can switch between them, it's pretty easy to do. So how many, so this is like my main vault with like two or 3,000 files. Diagnostics, it says I have using four megabytes of space. I don't store videos in here. I have some images, but mostly just text in here. I've used four megabytes, 13,000 blocks. I don't even know how many notes I have anymore. Don't tell me, nine, over a thousand? Far more than a thousand, I know that. Um, but yeah, you can see I even have like, this is one space opened up here and I can come back in here and I can open up and uh, in my own. I can open up the organized mind here. And like I'm actually switching between spaces right now, Previn. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, make sure your battery is full when you charge. So let me, that's not too bad, really. So now I did hear that people were having trouble with files moving. I don't even know how to, I'm gonna have a screenshot there. It's just a screenshot of my thumbnail. That's totally fine. So let's bring this in. 
Loading. So that's, uh, this is the thumbnail I used before the live stream here. And let's open up Finder. Where is Finder? It's just on another screen here, which is good. Because now I can make sure there's no client information at first. So in Finder, I put that in the craft folder. It's just JSON, eh? Not that I can read that. I'm just trying to see. Did it actually embed the image in the JSON here somewhere? That's the two files. So I wonder where it puts the assets. So I just took the screenshot from my desktop. If I delete it, it's still here. So it's embedded in here somehow, but I don't actually see where the assets are. Craft, iCloud, man, yeah, the image is still there. So it seems pretty easy to get an external storage location. I will come back to this uh, if I see any problems, really. Uh, the big question is, am I going to move my database to an external storage location? Um, because I don't actually need... So what do you what you lose if you use an external storage location, the one that Craft doesn't control, is you don't get collaboration. Um, maybe you don't get that. I think that's the big feature, and I don't actually use it for my own stuff, so it doesn't matter to me whether or not I have collaboration, because I don't collaborate with anyone. Yeah. That's right, Jay. Jay asked, can you oh, add it to the, right there. No, oh, my picture in picture is in the way, so let's hide that. There you go. How does that work with sharing? My assumption is you can't, but you could just share the external storage location. You probably could share it. So if I put that in a shared folder with my wife, then I assume I could share it with her if she used Craft, but she doesn't want to use Craft with me because she, that's just not her thing. So yeah, you can't do collaboration like via the web like you can with um, the base version of Craft, but you can, and this is good for like a lawyer. I know David Sparks has talked about this with Obsidian that he can ha control his own storage. And so he can do his own you know, iCloud encryption or other sync services and just not worry about his specific client documents being available to anyone else. I don't care as much. There's not, I suppose there's a little bit of private information in some of my book notes where I would be like, oh, and my wife does this, or we fought about this thing. Um, but ultimately there's not a lot of private information in my stuff, so it wouldn't, nothing would really matter to me if someone took it. I, like, I don't think it would be that big a deal. I might be admitting that I used to be a bit of a jerk um, sometimes, um, especially when it came to First Nations stuff in Canada. 10 years ago, I was probably a bit of a jerk. Um, all I could say now is, yeah, I was a jerk, and I hopefully I'm not now. It's probably the worst thing that would come out of it. Since I'm not in politics, well, I guess I'm on YouTube. That's kind of politicky ish or at least it's public-facing. Um, but, yeah, I, I was a jerk at one point, and I work hard, very hard not to be now. That's it. So if you want to add it, again, it's pretty easy. Go up to your little uh, logo, add your external storage location, then you control the sync. You lose... Um, Sharing, and that's really the, only, the main feature, or being able to publish uh, as well, I guess, via the Craft Publish service. And while I like the Craft Publish service, I would never actually use it myself. I would never use it because I want to own my own data. I want to have my own blog. I want to be able to do what I want with it um, on my site. And so Craft is really just a repository for my my thoughts in progress and my blog is where I've, it's still thoughts in progress, but where I've started to flesh things out a little better. That's it. If you like this sort of random video, then you can give me a thumbs up below. If you didn't like it, then I guess you give me a thumbs down. That's totally fair. You don't have to like it. Um, if you want to support the channel, you can go to Patreon at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale, become a patron, links below, or you can take one of my courses at curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare, there are links below. And if you want me to answer your questions about craft uh, and actually join these recordings live, it'll be somewhere between one and two specific. Um, that'll be great. And then you can join, you can ask questions, and I'll do some office hours after I record the videos. That's it. Have an awesome day. Try not to fall in.